Rob, Julie, the protests wrapped up yeah. just about 10 minutes ago, but people are still hanging out here in the old market. Before that, we saw hundreds more at one of Omaha's busiest intersections. Two protests in Omaha on the same night, both in support of Jacob Blake, the man shot by police in Kenosha, Wisconsin. It, it says that we're pissed off. It says that we're pissed off and we want as much people to see and hear us and uh, see the solidarity as we can. The first rally began at 72nd and Dodge with more than 100 people standing on the sidewalk. Organizer Bear Alexander calls it a strong turnout considering the shooting in Kenosha happened about 24 hours ago. Horrifying. It was sickening. It, uh, it made me sick to my stomach and honestly it, it made me extremely more passionate about why that epitomized why we are out here. Joelle Bannister says it was unjust for Blake to be shot seven times. It's sad. I have three children. Um, I wouldn't want their dad to be shot and for them to see something like that. Three men from different Native American tribes performed prayer songs for Blake and his family. We're out here in solidarity to support uh, because they're fighting their struggle is our fight and our struggle. A second protest started in the old market at 8 o'clock. Velvet Langley was one of the first to arrive. I really thought that after I protested on 72nd and Dodge two months ago for George Floyd that things would change and that police would think twice before they shoot. She says she intends to keep protesting until there's change. We need to keep talking, we need to keep protesting and peacefully protesting and we need to keep letting people know that we are not okay with this and that our lives matter. A lot of the people who came here to the protest at 11th and Howard also came from the 72nd and Dodge protest. Police did not have to intervene at either event, but they were in the area monitoring the scene. Reporting live in the Old Market, Emily Tensor, KETV News Watch 7.